Sometimes, when polynomials appear more complicated, it's easier to substitute in a simpler term to help clear things up. Taking a look at the question below, the x plus 2 to make things seem a little bit intimidating. If we replace the x plus 2 with the letter u, we can see we have u squared minus 3u minus 10. So we'll factor that. We know there's going to be a u in the front of each bracket, and we now need to find the two numbers that go in the back. Well, we're looking for two numbers whose product is minus 10 and whose sum is minus 3. The potential products for 10 are 1 times 10 and 2 times 5. 1 and 10 can give us a 9 or 11, and a 2 and a 5 can give us a 3 or a 7. Well, we're looking to make a 3, so we know the numbers are 5 and 2. We need to pay close attention to the signs. The product is minus 10, so we know 1 is negative and 1 is positive, and the sum is minus 3. So, we know we're going to have the minus 5 and the positive 2. We can now take those, put those in our brackets, and we now have the factors u minus 5 and u plus 2. Well, we're not done. We need to replace the u's with the x plus 2's. So to do this, we will set up two large square brackets, and we will replace the u's with the x plus 2's. In the first bracket, we'll have x plus 2 minus 5. In the second bracket, we'll have x plus 2 plus 2. For the last step, we'll need to simplify within the brackets. So x plus 2 minus 5 would give us x minus 3, and x plus 2 plus 2 would give us x plus 4. We have now factored this polynomial.